Hello Internet and welcome back to EGT. Today's show is going to be just a little bit different as my co-hosts have just up and abandoned me. But the joke's on them because I still have Dave. Extinction is a game that is going to be pitting you against 150 feet. Monsters looks like Shadow of the Colossus. Legend of Zelda. Breath of the Wild director said open worlds may become the new Legend of Zelda standard. Fallout and Elder Scrolls have come to GOG DRM free, and for the next two days they are all on sale. You can pick up the entire series of Fallout and Elder Scrolls for 44 bucks in total. Action RPG Indivisible has met all its fundraising goals and is going to be released on the Switch. If you have Twitch Prime, you can pick up the award-winning game Gone Home for free this month. Ubisoft made an E3 lineup reveal video that showed off the new Logard and announced that they are going to be showing off a new IP. A continuation of the Pokemon Rumble series, called Pokey Land, is coming to a smartphone near you. Classic 1986 MMO Habitat servers are back online thanks to the Museum of Art and Digital Entertainment. The servers went live on June 2nd, 2017, and you can play it yourself if you pick up a Commodore 64 emulator. We've got some good rumors to talk about today, so let's get right into it. It looks like Life is Strange is getting a prequel along with a sequel. There were some images leaked from Deck Nine Games' website showing Chloe and Rachel at various locations, which have since been pulled from the website. If I'm correct, we're going to be seeing this at E3 in a couple of weeks. Now, due to a flub by Shinobi, a Japanese retailer, people are thinking Pokémon Tournament might be getting a Switch release. I think it was a mistake made by the retailer, but you know I'll pick it up if the rumor is true. An Xbox Live reward survey may be thanked for revealing the SNES Classic Edition. We'll be hearing more about this at E3. I just can't wait for them to cancel production after being sold out for months so that I can't get my hands on it. Now to the main show. Nintendo is pushing back their paid online service until 2018. Well, that is good news. I just hope they aren't pushing back the virtual console until 2018 too. Pricing for the service was announced as well. It is $4 for a month, $8 for three months, and $20 for a whole year. Hopefully everyone else is paying attention and we can have PS4 and Xbox One lower their subscription too. They also rolled back their decision to give you a virtual console game for a month and are now going to give you a whole catalog of titles that you can play as long as you are subscribed to their service. Now for a quick word from our sponsor. This episode of EGT was brought to you by unbranded bottle of water. Taste the H2O. Now that's water. In more Nintendo news, we finally got an answer on where Breath of the Wild fits into the Zelda timeline. Sort of. Uh, it's the furthest story in the timeline, but maybe, just maybe, this is the part of the timeline that reunites the split. At this time, I'm not even sure Nintendo knows. For those of you still playing Pokemon Go, Legendary Pokemon are finally coming to the game this summer. But more importantly, you're going to be able to battle other players. Still no word on trading though, however. Now, to Dave with this week's tech news. Intel has announced their new i9 high-end desktop processors. These 10 core processors have a base clock of 3.3 GHz and can turbo boost up to 4.5 GHz. This sort of power isn't cheap, it's going to cost you 1000 bucks. If you're looking for something a bit cheaper, AMD has dropped the prices on the Ryzen 7 line of processors. Looks like you will be saving around 30 bucks on each of the processes. If you're considering building yourself a PC, now seems to be the time to do it. At Computex Aorus was there to show off the slim new laptop, the Kicker. It has a 1080 inside of it. If you're looking to play 4K games on the go, don't want to carry an extra 50 pounds. 
in wait and have three brands of blow. Pick this up and enjoy 4K gaming on the go. That's the show for the week. Thank you for watching. I hope you learned something. And I will see you next week when I eat an entire buffalo.